right. Welcome, everybody. It's good to it's good to see everybody, and welcome to the uh, Bobcat Athletic Complex. It's a great day to be a Bobcat. Uh, today's a very special day as we introduce our new head women's volleyball coach. But before we do that, I have a few thank yous that I'd want to express. First, I want to thank President Cruzado. Her inspiration and leadership continues to guide the best and the brightest of this great university, and we thank her for her continued support of Bobcat Athletics. I need to give a special shout out and thank you to our search committee. They did a lot of heavy lifting during this process and con contributed their time and talents along the way. Some of them are joining us here today, Casey Fox, Jamie Rizzuto, Cami Bechtold, Shannon Lundgren, and Tom Hilbert and Jeff Schemmel from College Sports Solutions, who also assisted our committee. I also like to thank our coaches, staff, and student athletes that assisted in the search process and helped tell the story of MSU, Bobcat Athletics, and our volleyball program. In designing the process to, in selecting our next head volleyball coach, it was important to be inclusive and thorough. We wanted to explore every possible avenue of attracting the best coach for our volleyball program. It was important to me and to the committee. The process was thorough and the pool of candidates was impressive. However, when it came to selecting our next head coach, I was looking for the following qualities. I wanted someone that had run their own program and had head coaching experience. I wanted somebody that was coming from highly successful results and experience. I wanted somebody with excellence in recruiting and on the court skill development and a strong background in building positive team culture. Our new coach checks the box in all of those areas. Our new coach comes from MSU as a highly regarded teacher of the game and has built his coaching career with hard work, strong relationships, and values he learned from his family and coaching mentors. My goal throughout this process was to find the head coach that will develop champions in the classroom, competition, and prepare student athletes for the next stages of their life. Our next head coach will help us do just that. Matt Hauk comes from, to MSU after a very successful nine-year stint as an assistant coach at Minnesota, one of the premier volleyball programs in the country and under what many call the best volleyball mind in the world in Hugh McCutcheon. The last four years he served as the associate head coach there. He also led the University of South Dakota through their transition as the head coach to Division I and spent time as an assistant at Wisconsin Green Bay and Wisconsin Milwaukee. And he holds a special place in my heart because he's a baseball player. <laughs> Go Cubs. <laughs> he is a program builder, relentless recruiter, and dynamic skill instructor. His integrity and character on and off the court align with the values of Montana State University and Bobcat Athletics. I am excited to welcome him, his wife Jenny, his, their children Jaden, Cole, and Jory to Bobcat Nation. Bobcat fans, it's my pleasure to introduce the new head coach of Montana State Volleyball, Mr. Matt Houck. I can live up to all that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, having me here today and giving me the opportunity to uh, say a few words to you. I would like to start with a few thank yous as well. Um, so start with my family, Jen, uh, my kids, Jaden couldn't be here today, but Cole and Jory, my parents who will become a fixture around this place, I'm sure as well. Um, but uh, I yeah, wouldn't be here without those moments and those people. I'd like to say thank you to Leon and his staff, right? What a, I don't know, wonderful place this is. And uh, yeah, just right away when I landed, it felt like a no brainer if they gave me an opportunity to come here. I've been doing this for 20 years and uh, yeah, I've been at a few places. And the thing that stood out is people matter. And so when I decided that I was gonna start doing this search, the biggest thing I was looking for was the right people. And uh, a place where I felt like I could be authentic and help guide young people to find their authentic voices and try to become the best versions of themselves during this process. 
These years are hard, right? 18 to 22, super formative. We're out on our own for the first time, trying to figure out who we are and what we stand for. Uh, and we're doing that in the spotlight of the arena, right? With people coming and watching us and judging us and posting about us in social media. And uh, it's a tough time. And I believe that this responsibility we have as leaders in that um, is really important. And that will not be taken lightly by myself or my staff. Uh, we will yeah, try to do our best to be the best role models we can be all while pushing these young people to, yeah, grow in who they are as humans, grow in who they are as competitors. And I think if we do all those things and we do them in a good way, we will produce championships. And uh, we'll hang some banners in our facility and we'll participate in some NCAA tournaments. And if we continue to do that, who knows where we could take this thing. Um, so the right people are here. I believe in the leadership uh, that is happening from Leon and his staff. I believe that their support in volleyball is gonna allow us to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish. And uh, I'm just really excited to be here and get a chance uh, to, to get going. Uh, finally, I, I would like to thank Hugh McCutcheon. Uh, he's been a wonderful mentor of mine the last nine years. The staff at Minnesota was great through all of this as me trying to move on. And uh, yeah, I won't forget my time here. I guess questions are in order. So what can I answer for you? What did you know about Montana State before you took this job? Uh, I knew it was beautiful. <laughs> yeah. um, I, during my stint at South Dakota, uh, we did come out here and play one time. So I had been to campus once. And uh, yeah, I got to make that flight in over the mountains. and. Uh, it feels to me like it's a no-brainer. If you can get a kid up in the air and fly in here, it feels like we're going to seal the deal, probably. Um, yeah, I think what I, what I learned quickly was the passion that this administration had for athletics being successful here. And that was a big part of what we were looking for. You can't build a program if you don't have the support from the top down. It's just really, really difficult. And so I think after that very first conversation that Leon and I had, I think I hung up the phone and it was one of the first things that Jen and I talked about was just like, hey, this, this admin has, has the backing, or is backing their athletics programs. They want to see them do well. We clearly could look and see how well football was doing in men's and women's basketball and a variety of the other sports, uh, which led me to believe that, again, the infrastructure was in place for us to, to do some big things. Uh, familiar with the Big Sky Conference, again, um, you know, you notice those teams that are, are playing good volleyball no matter what level you're at. And uh, clearly there's some good volleyball being produced in this conference. Um, so yeah, and, and this is a, right, we got some good recruiting, not only locally, but you can go south into Colorado, you can hit some, like, there's some recruiting, good recruiting in, in this area of the country. And probably some real hidden talent because of the club volleyball scene not being as large as it is maybe in some of the, the bigger metro areas, right? You, you can, you can uh, get some talent in this area that maybe uh, other people aren't all aware of. So uh, we're going to utilize that to the best of our ability. What do you think of the team, talent-wise, that you just inherited? Yeah, there's some really nice pieces in place. You know, I think, uh, again, over the course of uh, while I was interviewing for this, I don't know, maybe I watched a dozen other matches from this past year. Uh, it's clear that they can play volleyball. It's clear that they're physical. Uh, uh, first touch was going pretty good. You know, they could handle that. And uh, again, some really good individual performances happened this year. I think what you could see is there was inconsistency, right? Some really good performances, some not so good performances, and maybe a variety of things in between that stuff. And so that'll be a, a big part that we got to get going is we, we got to get consistent, right? We got to raise the level of maybe our, our floor, right? Continue to build up what our baseline is of mastery and uh, yeah, maybe stable things out a little bit and be a little bit more consistent across the board. So yeah, it's not so night to night how we're playing, but I have uh, a lot of confidence that we already have the talent in the room to do some things. And for sure, we're gonna try to recruit really well as, as well, you know, as we graduate players and, and they move on, we're gonna have to fill that with talented kids. What's the first thing on your agenda? This. <laughs> 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 um, 
the team and I met this morning at 7 a.m. Uh, we had a we had a good meeting. You know, we tried to lay out some of our principles and what we're going to stand for and who we're going to try to be. We tried to lay out what I believe is important, uh, maybe some fixtures of what our culture is going to be built upon. And so that was the first thing. We had to get in the room. We had to talk about that stuff. They had to know where I was coming from and what I stood for and what the expectations were going to be. Uh, we're going to let them get their feet wet in these first few days of school, and then we're going to hit the ground running. We're going to get in the gym next week, Tuesday, right away. And, uh, yeah, we'll find out, right? Coming, uh, coming from Big Ten country, you know, obviously it's a very rich volleyball program, this community over there. What's your vision for this program? Obviously, you know, winning the Big Sky Championship is something we've heard over the last couple of years. What's the plan to attain that? Yeah, uh, it's a really good question. I don't know all the answers to that yet, right? As we got to get in the gym and we got to figure things out, we got to figure out where we got to get a little bit better and where we got to, um, yeah, just grow and that stuff. But absolutely, the, the goals are big. Uh, I think I said to Leon at some point around this, I'm not interested in being mediocre. So I didn't want to go to a place where I thought that was the pinnacle of it, right? You know, I don't know, being 500 and being fifth in a conference, like I didn't want that. I, I want to at least strive for greatness. And I think if we do that right, then we got a good chance to achieve it. So yes, we'll have some outcome goals. But before we can ever really, I don't know, think about attaining those outcome goals, we're going to have to put some things in place, right? We're going to have to get better at volleyball. We're going to have to establish this, this culture piece. We're going to have to work on things. Um, and hopefully we can get some of those things in place this spring. And, uh, and obviously we'll evaluate when we're at the end of the spring of where we feel we're at and maybe where we're at realistically in terms of the rest of the conference. Um, but I'm definitely not going to cap us. I'm not going to say like, hey, I think in year one we can be third place. I, don't, I can't see the future, so I don't think I can predict that. I can tell you this one thing. We are going to compete, and nothing less than that will, will be acceptable. So uh, we're going to have a team out there that's going to bring it every single night, and I hope if you've never seen us play before and you walk in and you walk out 10 minutes later, you're using words like gritty and tough and competitive uh, and brave and courageous and things like that because that is where we're going to try to start from. And if we can put some of those things in place, then I think uh, sky's the limit, right? No pun intended there. So, yeah. Any uh, decisions yet on, on uh, assistant coaches or still TBD? Uh, still TBD, but we're, uh, I think we're close. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, your recruiting focus, your philosophy, do you have any kind of guiding principles, uh, any hotbeds you, you really focus on, I guess? Uh, well, first of all, we'll try to grow it, right? I, I got to get to know this area better. We got we to gotta find out the local stuff, right? And so for sure, next week, I'm sure I'll be on the phone a ton with high school coaches and local club coaches in the area. Um, I got to build relationships with them of the ones that I don't know already. Um, yeah, we have some really good recruiting ties in some, in some excellent places that produce really good youth volleyball. So for sure, we have, we've got good ties in Minneapolis area, right? And uh, I think Minneapolis could be a really good pipeline for us. Uh, similar weather, all that kind of stuff, right? You're not going to shock anybody by flying into Minnesota from, I'm sorry, into Montana from Minnesota. So uh, that's good. And the youth volleyball in, in, in Minneapolis is, is really good. It's one of the best in the country right now. Um, obviously, my ties in, back in the Milwaukee area are still strong. We recruited that area really heavily at the other places uh, that I've been at and at Minnesota. Um, and then, sure, there's pockets, right? You know, like, Texas is producing great volleyball right now. SoCal is producing great volleyball. Denver's you know, producing great volleyball. And uh, we have relationships in all those areas that we've established over the years. And um, yeah, we're going to look to go into those places as well. But ultimately, the recruiting philosophy is we're trying to find the right fit. You know, uh, The easy part is the talent, right? You can walk into a gym and you can see, can they jump high? Can they hit hard? Can they do those things? Like That's not the hard part of evaluating necessarily. The hard part is. Uh, are they the right person for us, right? Are they going to fit culturally with us? Are they going to play the way we want them to play? Are they going to commit to the principles that we want them to commit to? And that's the harder part of recruiting, getting into those details and trying to really find out if we have that. Because, yeah, now we see lots of talented teams that don't win a lot. So, you know, you got a talent and you got to have culture in place. And so, you know, we got to get those questions answered when we're recruiting. So that's the big piece of it. What do you, uh, what do you know about the rivalry, the Tech Ridge rivalry? I know there were 6,000 people in the stands last year for it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I think somebody compared it to me. for I was, I was the head coach at South Dakota for six years, 
So it's been compared to me of, of what, you know, USD and SDSU are a little bit, right? You know, you got two Division One schools in your state. Uh, most people in, in South Dakota are either red or they're blue kind of thing. And it sounds like that's fairly similar here in Montana. So uh, it's a big game, well, two big games for us, right? And uh, for sure, like, like everything, I'm sure the pride is strong here. And uh, it'll be important for us to put on a good show on those nights. So you play baseball. How did uh, volleyball kind of get uh, to be your, your career? Wait, this is a volleyball meeting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> OK. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, my mom was a high school volleyball coach for about 30 years. Uh, I grew up in an area of the country where boys volleyball was very strong. I got to play it growing up. I played high school volleyball. I also played high school basketball and high school baseball. Uh, my dad was also a high school coach, basketball and baseball he coached. I played baseball for my dad in high school. And uh, as I was evaluating towards the end of my high school career of what I was going to pursue, um, I thought baseball was my best opportunity to compete at the highest level collegiately. Um, and uh, like all kids, right, you have goals of playing beyond that. I thought if I had any chance uh, to play professionally in something, it wasn't going to be basketball. So, uh, <laughs> so I, gave, I gave a shot to baseball. Um, that my baseball eligibility came to an end. I still had some credits left to graduate, and it just so happened that the volleyball coach at UW-Milwaukee approached me, uh, said she remembered that I was a pretty good high school volleyball player, and asked if I wanted to come into the gym as a, as a student assistant. Um, I wasn't ready to be done with sport, so so I did that, and uh, it, it all kicked off there. It was a great season. Milwaukee qualified for the NCAA tournament that year. She offered me a part-time position on the staff the following year, and it just kept leading to the next thing. And I don't know, somewhere maybe five years into it, I was like, oh, maybe this is what I'm doing for a career. Maybe I'm a volleyball coach. So um, yeah, and it just kind of steamrolled, right? And then head coaching job at South Dakota, and then yeah, one afternoon in March, Hugh McCutcheon calls you and asks you if he wants to, if you want to join his staff, and that's a pretty hard no, so you, you, know, you, you figure out a way to make that, or a hard thing to say no to, so you figure out a way to, to make that happen, and yeah, and way we go, 20 years later, yeah, here's a former baseball player turned volleyball coach. So, yeah. Yeah. So Coach McCutcheon, what, what did you learn most from him? Uh, one of the things that, that Hugh is great at is the technical aspect of volleyball. Uh, he, is, uh, he is a very intelligent uh, person when it comes to biomechanical efficiency and the techniques that need to be used to, to create the best opportunities to be a master at those skills. And so um, he, his attention to the minute details of what it takes, where you gotta put your foot, how you gotta put your arms to make sure that these techniques are happening at the highest level they can happen at and they're as repeatable as they can be so that we can you know, sustain success over the course of a season or a career. Um, I, I think that was one of the biggest things. Obviously he's extremely connected in the volleyball world um, and so also, you know, he opens up a lot of doors to you. So, you know, the people I got to meet along the way and got to experience, uh, you know, I spent time with Anders Ericsson along the way because of Hugh. I spent time with Ken Revisa along the way because of Hugh. It just, those are people in the sports world that are just revered, you know, and the, the things you got to learn because of his ability to connect with people and open up doors was, yeah, it was really cool. Again, thank you guys. I appreciate everyone being here. I'm really excited. My family's really excited. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can't go hold it down for y'all. Yeah. <laughs>